The line formed early and it kept getting longer. Some water, fruit. Volunteers. There you go. Passing out food and drinks to those waiting hours. We use four three times to donate blood. My heart is so grateful for this. Yes, You're, we're grateful for you. I think it's amazing that you know we can all really band together and for these donors, yeah. it's an emotional decision. We want to help people. Richard Oboil lived in Stockton before moving to Vegas recently. As Californians, usually we tend to stick together as well, uh, as, as good as the Las Vegas community does here. Um, if something happens, money bank, we would tend to run towards the issue instead of run away from it. And Blood Source in Sacramento rallied to help, getting Mitzi Edgecombe on a plane first thing Monday. Folks were on the phone early in the morning. We said, all right, we got to head to Vegas. And so we all got plane tickets and headed out here. I hit the ground about 11, 30, 12 yesterday and started working with the media and the line of donors and thanking people and just trying to help in any way that we could. I know you've been in this line a very long time. Jennifer Stenander is supposed to be on vacation. She's volunteered at some other tragic events, including 9-11. So this is number 63. So, so when the shooting happened, she ditched the poolside lounge chair and went to work. It's devastating. And so um, there's no way I could go sit and relax at the pool when so many people need help. So just came out here and I was so grateful. I pray that when I got here, they'd let me volunteer. And I've been out here all day. She was a pretty inspirational person. So glad I had a chance to meet with her today. The blood source officials today, they told me that all the needs have been met in terms of helping those who were victims of the shooting. They say that's not the issue right now. Now it's about replenishing those blood supplies because they used up all of the existing supplies to treat those people who were wounded. So that's really what we're trying to do now is build up a supply base for, uh, for the future when something else may happen that requires just as much attention.